Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I am about to get started on a 30 minute session. It's a energy parasite implant archon removal session. So I'm gonna be doing energy work and wisdom for a client. And this is actually a follow up session. So a couple weeks ago I had done a spiritual home cleansing. And one of the interesting things that I, I had discovered was um, the client was going through a major what you could describe as um, ascension, ascension symptoms, um, the purging from within the soul of a lot of old and traumatizing lifetimes. So human ascension is, is a totally legit thing. We're actually becoming better people. <laughs> and in the process of becoming a better race of beings, we're actually healing our timeline and healing past lives. And we're, we all go through it in different ways. We all have different levels of sensitivity to what's going on within our soul atmosphere, spiritual atmosphere. So when, when it comes time and all the energy of the stars and the planet alignments and all this stuff is happening, it's changing us. It's inspiring our personal energies to shift as well. So it's opening things up within and helping this traumatized stuff come to the surface so we can process it and release it. Now, once that happens, we become more full of light, more access to our higher selves, and we're free. We're far freer because we're not holding onto the baggage of traumatizing lifetimes. So in that home energy clearing, it wasn't so much the negative entities or demons or anything like that. It was a lot of that type of uh, ascension purging going on, major massive ascension purging. And when it gets to the surface layer of the energy field, that's like your everyday life layer. So you're gonna start to develop uh, anx anxieties, paranoia. It's not gonna feel like you, it's gonna feel like you're being attacked, all kinds of stuff. And especially for people who are sensitive can translate it in this way. So it could feel like psychic attack or, or something of this nature. But um, what I found was a massive um, purification of the energy field from deep down inside and it's just the processing of it coming out. So I'm going to read the goals for this session and then I'm going to get started. Um, okay, so it says, I've been doing a lot better overall since our session. Things are still scary though. I had another session with a woman who's been a medium for 50 years and she told me that I'm going through a kundalini awakening and it's having some trouble around my heart and that my subconscious is actually oozing out of my head a bit like a helmet. Hmm. Just a moment, I'm just gonna absorb these details here. <sighs> okay, she said once it's beyond the body, it's interacting with your field, which you don't have much control over then. And it explains me seeing faces and everything and beings everywhere. Exactly. So Kundalini awakening, ascension symptoms, is kind of goes hand in hand because you're seeing uh, in entities, but really they're the, the evil faces of the past life nightmares. <laughs> That's kind of what it, what it is. It's just the echo and the reflection of what you have seen in other lives now being projected in your feelings and sen psychic sensory skills all around you. Um, okay, so let me continue reading. All right, so she gave me a lovely process to shut down my upper chakras with colors for a while until I start feeling a bit more sane. Other issues. There is someone knocking on various parts of the house that is very loud, like wake you up out of your sleep loud. And it happens mostly on glass, but also ceilings and walls. This happens even if I'm Skyping someone on their walls. I have a lot of pain on my feet, toes, knees, hips, ribs, upper arms, shoulders, and head. Okay. Hmm. Let me just absorb all of this content here, all right? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right, I'm ready for this. 
And I want to thank you too for sharing with YouTube because it's such an interesting topic and people are going through these types of experiences and this session can help them too. Uh, all right, <laughs> I'm going to relax now. Okay. I'm going to first start by just stepping into your energy field and let's just see what it looks like, okay? All right, one thing I hear loud and clear is that you're not lost. And I see it's sort of like an echo of yourself and you're kind of looking around your own energy field like you're trying to find something, but you're not lost. So I'm telling this part of yourself that. But there's a lot of energy goop in the way here. So <laughs> give me a minute. <laughs> It's a circular space, there's layers, here's a pathway, a guy looking for something going around in circles. Um, and then there's these little like dark layers that kind of get smaller as they get into the center. This is a real problem. And when I tell this part of you that you're not lost, this part of you looks like a very old man, like 90 years old, but still has a strong body and really long white beard and white hair and sort of like a white uh, toga, <laughs> Greek um, Socrates like outfit, okay? And when I say this, this is a problem, there's a ma massive energy imbalance in your mental body. Right now I'm just solidifying the space and I'm just continuing to share the same energy that you're not lost so that he can have a self-realization. Boy, it's a it's a you it's a disaster to be honest. Like it's going to take a lot of looking around to get this into balance, but to get this into balance is going to help everything. And I know that this um, healer you were working with was um, giving you some ability to shut off those chakras, which is, I've never heard anybody suggest turning their chakras off before. Um, but I will say your mental body is totally jacked up. <laughs> all right. But good news is it's all energy and energy can come into balance. It always can. All right. We're going to fix this. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to just carry this old man because he has too much response. There's like too much responsibility, too much weight on his shoulders. And he's kind of like lost himself and lost his mind in the process of losing himself. And um, it's, a, it's sad. So I'm carrying him as just a sign or symbol of um, I'm here to help you. You don't have to carry the burden all by yourself. It's uh, drained you too much. It's uh, stretched you too thin. So I take this part of you literally to the angelic realms and I'm just laying you um, in a space of heaven so that you can be uh, tended to. Because this part of you has been through way too much. So you're just resting right now and angels are there with you, okay? So now I can take a look at this while I know that part of you is being nurtured. I can put all my attention on this. So you have a giant um, hole that goes straight. Like here's your crown and it's massive. It's like this big and it goes straight down from the top of your head down into your head. So it's like a big whole I'm just I I'm watching it and sharing what is natural balance so images of natural balance so you shouldn't have a giant hole there. There should just be energy information and it's just circulating, flowing, communicating. I should just see a brain and stuff like that. But this is like a, um, a sinkhole. <laughs> and I can tell that 
that this massive sinkhole is also struggling. The, the communication part of all this is struggling. Throat is really an important chakra. Like they're all super important, but I think this one can sometimes get overlooked, but I do find throat and mind work together a lot because you have to communicate the thoughts, right? And so when the mind is struggling hardcore, the throat is also struggling with it, but we should all, they should all be working together. So not one chakra needs to carry all the burden they should be teaming up together to disperse it out as a team, okay? Hmm, so as I'm going down here, you know, the heart is definitely having a struggle, but your heart is not as traumatized as your mental body. We're gonna do a total chakra overhaul here. Because, you know, as I, I'm just going to go on down and just take a look and just feel them all out. Because uh, stomach's kind of confused and clenched tight. But it's not totally traumatized because you're storing a lot of the trauma here in your mental body. <sighs> Sexual body also needs to have a voice because that's how we enjoy life. You know, the pleasures of life, we process that within our um, sexual body. And it's not just about intimacy and, you know sexual um, actions. It's about how we um, enjoy the pleasures of life, you know, and how we love ourselves, like deeply love ourselves. That too. Sexual body also has a relationship with that too. And root is for grounding. Just me saying the chakras is actually, they're like, oh, somebody's talking to me. Oh, these lower chakras are like, oh, someone's saying hello to me. And I'm showing sexual body and emotional gut and root what the world is going on up there on the upper levels of the skyscraper. <laughs> it's like a calamity. <laughs> but let's see what they say. <laughs> Sexual body says that it knows and it just didn't want to, it's just, it's ignoring it. It's like the elephant in the room problem. And it's like, well, I'm just going to just pretend it's not there and do everything else that I do. <laughs> I don't know. It's just apparently not been given permission. It doesn't know how to help. It just, it's just kind of the elephant in the room scenario. And I tell sexual body that the, you know, it's okay. Thank you for saying that because now we're starting to get to know the relationships with each other because mental body needs some serious support here. All right, there's some really gross stuff um, coming out your feet and they look like really just gross like parasitic worms or like rotted out old um, roots, but they're not thick like tree roots. They're more like worms. And they're just like gush, they're just like, like coming out of your feet, both feet, which is good because we're talking to the lower chakras and we're talking about being grounded and what are the pleasures of life and how are you feeling emotionally? Did you know this is going on with mental body and throat and heart? Did you know about these things? So as we're having self-realizations in the other chakras, now we're starting to purge jams out, okay? And my, I mean, your the feeling of this gross stuff coming out of your feet, it feels super gross, like, um, like, like t terrifying, <laughs> like, uh, like one of those pit images that comes up on Google and you swear you didn't search that and it's just like, ter like this mortifying image or something you really didn't want to see. It feels that way. It frequency wise feels that way. And I see a, an image of you like, eh, eh, don't, don't show me that my feet look like this right now. <laughs> so that's just coming out. Everything's going to be fine. I'm telling you, it will be. Just one thing at a time will get you balanced out again. All right. Th this worm stuff is a problem here. Makes you want to throw up. Um, your stomach is turning um, and your mind is now, whatever happened here, your mind is now starting to wake up and it's starting to s look at the feet and say, oh my God, nobody told me. <laughs> so mind is starting to wake up. Crown is totally, I mean, 
Crown is like circulating uh, the heavenly, the, the new inspirations, okay? So new inspirations are coming down from the stars, all right? And, and so it's circulating in here. And then the third eye is what sees through everything. Sees through the ideas, sees through people, sees through um, psychic world, sees through all sorts of stuff. So if we, if we turn this off, you know, if we put it to sleep... I mean, it's an interesting idea, but um, waking it up is is what you need right now. <laughs> so we're going to activate it. And okay, we're I'm 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 forcing you to face how pukey and disgusting I, this is. It, it doesn't look it, the image isn't as bad as the frequency of it. The frequency of it is like rancid. Um, rotting flesh bodies, um, wriggly worms, and sick stuff like that. And you're really, 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 really exhausted and worn out from this thing, this whole thing you're going through. It's a big thing that you're going through. And I'm not surprised your chakras are so disoriented from it. And uh, so you're still, these worms are still coming out and you kind of just have a moment, another version of yourself just collapses and just starts to sob. And uh, it's just sobbing, sobbing, and it's so legit. I mean, it's a really honest cry. Okay, let me see. What is the next thing here? Just give me a moment. I can't just say, oh, parasitic worms, bam, disappeared. Bye-bye. We got we to gotta literally bring everything into balance so that can just release fully on its own. And some of the stuff we have to learn about and help your deeper essence, which would be like your subconscious self, um, your soul and all this other stuff that we need to bring the awareness up to the conscious level so it can all work together. Um, we got to just alter some of the way that we're, we're processing the energy to bring it all into balance and to just get you so those, so you're balanced. Like this is not going to come back on my watch. <laughs> like I'm going to get you where you need to be. So the door can close there on that one. It is feeling a lot better already. Uh, okay. Um, there's, there's some major, the next level of energy we're getting into is major suffering here in the heart. And then the eyes are expressing that suffering. So the eyes are the tool of expression of the suffering within the heart. And the heart hurts really, 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 really bad. Your mental body is actually coming into more of a harmonious rhythm there's still a lot more work to do there but now the heart is really showcasing a lot of the suffering right now because we're just going to move through the layers okay one layer after another and we'll we'll just keep running into the next vulnerability okay yeah your heart looks like a it looks like somebody put a bomb in it and blew it up but it didn't blow up in pieces it just blew up from the inside and then kind of you know, there was some sort of nuclear reaction. It transformed into some sort of some disgusting nuclear reaction, radiated radiation heart or something. I mean, it's oversized. It looks burnt in places. Um, tender, ridiculously. Like, I would be really sensitive, like, touching it. I don't want it to, to, to hurt it. Um, yeah, because there's so much, I mean, there's screaming, there's severe trauma, there's, um, the heart is, and the mind are working together to heal this, this within the heart, and there's a lot of screaming, there's a lot of chaotic sounds, and sounds of people screaming as well, and there's one particular little girl, and she's, she is in a panic, <sighs> This is really brutal. 
The pain here is really, 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 really brutal. All right. Mm. So it's it would be again reflective of traumatizing past lives. One of them I just see a village and this village seems like um, islander types and they're all running and screaming for the, the ocean. I don't know what is here, but it's uh, some, um, it's terrifying. <laughs> it's terrifying. Everybody and everybody is running to get away. And this child cannot find its parents in the midst of this scramble and the, it's just pure terror. That's what one of the images that comes. The other images mean you just basically a pulp of a body on a table. Uh, but all right, we're just I'm just going to go through this one. Some of these images can also be reflective of your your energy bodies trying to tell me how they feel through showing me pictures like this. So the one with the Islanders, it's like kind of like a Avengers movie or X-Men or something like some uh, chaos just uh, came out of the ground or out of the universe, you know, the, the space or out of the ocean. And then it just started coming towards and it was absolutely terrifying and people couldn't breathe. The anxiety is overwhelming. They're like being radiated from the inside out. There's uh, feelings of confusion, mass confusion, loss, pan lo um, loss, panic um, on the max level, severe max level. So your heart's showing me this image in order to vent the way that it feels. The next image it shows me is you on a table and you've basically been sawed into. And this is an actual, like, they're, they're showing me you like a piece of wood on a table and you're just being sawed into pieces. And... Um, it's like you're being uh, rebuilt, like uh, because your mind is still functioning, but you're basically only your rib cage up at this point, and everything is just a bloody disaster. And so that is another image that I'm seeing in order for your energy bodies to vent the way that they feel. So your heart, you can understand why it looks so traumatized. But I do feel that there is a super link here with other lifetimes. And terrifying lifetimes at that. Because th there's so much noise. I mean, it would be hard to hear um, the tranquil side of yourself. Your heart is getting really, really tight. I mean, it's so tight. It's like, it's not a rock, but it's like a really tight. I mean, if this was a stress ball, you can't really squish it. It's more like a, but it is squishable, but not by much. Okay, so what's the next thing? This is a heart and throat relationship issue. There's some mental body issue with it. Mm, the ears are starting to look disgusting and gross, like pus is coming out of them. I'm literally just giving you a super big hug. And I just tell you to take a nice deep breath. We don't have to continue to go down the hallway of calamity and chaos and nightmares. Let's just take some nice fresh oxygen in. And there is energy oxygen out there. So I can fill you full of energy oxygen and it will clear your mind, okay? It'll clear your throat, clear your heart, clear your lungs, clear your body. And I'm sure there's something about all the little aches and pains you're having. Um, there's something about oxygen and your need to get the oxygen into yourself. So this stress may be causing you to hold your breath more than you're aware of. Um, so relaxing and breathing and making sure the air is getting in is going to help also alleviate the stress that's in these different parts of your body. So you're, you're having a hard time 
just relaxing because you're kind of shaky and and it makes sense because you just you're showing me this extreme stuff and it's still pretty fresh you just literally showed it to me i'm literally picking up this part of you which is far more dense than the other part of you i'm just picking this dense part of you up and then we're just going to go into the angelic realms together you're super ridiculously heavy. It's like somebody pumped you full of metal. Like uh, your muscles and your bones and your blood and everything's made out of metal and it's weighing you down and it's really hard for you to move and feel light on your feet. You feel weighed down, tremendously weighed down. Hmm. So you're just in a heavenly bed next to this other part of you, this old man. And you just look like you're made out of complete, like a robotic man, but super heavy, dense metal, layers upon layers upon layers of it. And then this man is just sort of like a ghost-like spirit. So... I'm going to let that heavy, dense part of you stay in the angelic realms because they're showing me I need to go back and uh, there's yet another part of your consciousness I need to visit with. <sighs> okay, this has to do with the worms that are coming out your feet. And... Um, I mean, you you kind of mo like um, you you you're you're like shaking your head. You're like um like really trying to think 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 think. Um, like you're like talking like kind of like mumbling and like this. Um, but you also are seeing the image of the par these worms coming out the feet, and they're very dry. I mean, they're not like earthwormy. They're more dry like roots. And they feel like they aren't alive anymore to be honest you feel like dead wires um i need to go there he's uh he's i'm gonna go into him and um when i do that i'm taken to a basically a really crazy realm and in this realm there are for eternity infinite miles um these strange worm-like things and it's like uh, the yarn realm, <laughs> but instead of yarn, it's like long, insanely long worms forever. And they're all kind of woven up together and bound in all the hillsides and everything is made out of them. And there's a really awful thing beneath the surface of all of this. This is also an issue with your mental body as well. Your ears are also piping up and saying they're a bit traumatized by it too. There's i uh, I'm standing in this room and uh, having this, I'm just experiencing all the different communications that you share vibrationally with me as we look at this place. And there's an energetic baby that just sort of is born from your heart and it just plops out onto the ground here and it's sort of full of maggots and rotted flesh and the space is shifting it's shifting um so now it's not like a, a worm's realm it's like a woman with ridiculously long hair that makes up the entire world entire universe here everything's just getting really um i'm gonna have to just relax this down because the thing is, is what are you? What is this truly? What is this about? Because if you want to keep changing your mind, oh, it's a baby born, now it's a woman, now da 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 da. Like, we need to have, um, what is this? And that's it. We don't, we need to have a solid look here at what is this? 
and I'm trying to dig into what is beneath this and let's just say it looks like a massive archon which um, kind of like a squid some some of them look actually like uh, like real squids like real animals some of them look robotic and so this one looks totally robotic Okay, and this is creating a lot of uh, frequency challenges here in the mind too. And hmm. just a minute here. This is gonna take just take a little bit. I just all I I can just stand here and look at it and transform this whole experience. But as I stand here and look at it, the my heart starts to get tight, my emotional gut feels really tight, and then it's hard to get air in, which is how you're energetically reacting to this. And I pull this part of you that's just been sort of like, like kind of rocking itself and just not, you know, she's like trying to solve some thing, can't figure out what it's really saying. It's just mumbling really fast to itself. And I bring that consciousness to stand in here and take a look at this with me because literally there's nothing to be afraid of. We can literally look at anything. And we can decide if we want that thing or we don't want that thing. And we don't have to feel traumatized by that thing. And we can say no at any time, and then that thing just either goes away or transforms or whatever else. And I'm showing him this, and he's having a very hard time just standing up straight and breathing and just looking. He feels like he's on his last limb here. He's starting to look a lot like this really aged old man. I tell him, stand on your feet and look at this. You are together. You are not lost. You are strong. I say, what do you think about this giant archon thing? What do you think? He says nothing. He has no, he doesn't know what to say. And I say, you need to find something to say. Because this is the part of the journey where you have to actually do a little bit of work here. He, he says, I just want to be set free. And I say, that's all you have to say. I just want to be set free. So now what? What do you want to be set free from? He's actually starting to co collect himself and his mind more and he looks more solidified and he looks more um, densely real. But he says, I want to be freed from myself because as he becomes more solidified and densely real, um, there's an odd weakness that uh, sparks in his mind and suddenly all this woman's long hair turns into these weird roots um, and then they start latching onto the back of his head and uh, he can't just can't ever seem to be set free from this and I say there's nothing wrong with your mind and you need to start to own your own personal power where'd your power go He just starts screaming and the roots just go into his face and he just gives up. He just falls. Hmm. Let me see here what I can do. <sighs> One thing I can do is you can always give, I can give this part of you more time. It's a powerful thing to do. And just give you as much time as you need to overcome yourself and your own inner vulnerabilities. Because you can overcome this. So I'm just giving you more time. And it's interesting because in more time, what is like a very long time from now, like a million years, 
Um, all these roots have faded away a long time ago and the Archon faded away a long time ago and it's just you that was left and you just don't want to leave this place. And uh, there's a lot of fear still in this part of you. It just doesn't want to ever let go. It just clings. And I ask him, what is he afraid of? I'm just going to keep giving him more time. He's, he's afraid of his weaknesses. Because his weaknesses attract these challenges and the challenges are sometimes too great for him. And he can't face them. Say, tell me one of your weaknesses. Now this one, he he's telling it to me, but he can't... Uh, it's weird. It's like my weakness is the color orange. But in the color orange, there's like a textbook of information about this. And I say, okay, well, we're going to change the color orange to the color blue. He says, what? Wait, what? You, I could just change my weakness into just something that I'm not weak, that doesn't make me feel weak. And I say, yeah. And this feels right. This doesn't feel like him running away. This actually feels like him learning something very important about the power that he holds within himself. He's actually starting to work with the color blue and he fills his aura with the color blue and he fills his mind with blue, lots of blue color. He feel, his eyes start to cry because there's just so much vibrational meaning here and sensitivity, it's really positive. Um, and his throat too is just sort of circulating with blue color. His whole aura is. And all the other chakras are also getting a little bit of um, blue colored food. It's like the heart's receiving blue. Everybody's receiving blue. And it's very, very nurturing. And you're starting to laugh and say, what in the world are they doing? Why was I doing that? They say, we all do stuff like this. I, I don't know why we get wound up and bound up in something, but we do. And then we find our way out and we can look back and say, wow, but you're gonna, you've are gonna you overcome it. So you're never going to fall into that rut again. Never for sure in the same way. <laughs> but I don't see you falling back into that. And he wants, he's like really excited. He wants to go visit the parts of himself in heaven right now. And I say that their spirits have already been released back to you. All that remains is just old energies that are being transformed into new awesome stuff. This is a super... Um, this is super good progress. And I'm just like, I'm so he feels complete. All right. Full circle. And when I, when I come out to see the bigger picture of your energy field, things are flowing so much better. So, so, so much better. There's still, um, imbalances, but this is like a super awesome accomplishment. And as this energy flows, it can uh, have a way of bringing things into balance naturally. You just need time too. And you need time to really breathe and time to clear your mind, time to go for super ridiculously long walks, so long that you have nothing more to think about and all you do is just look at nature and you get lots of fresh air. It will help. It also has a it has a way of helping when you just if you have like a favorite archangel just to say their name like uh, whenever you sense like a, the the knock on the glass or whatever um, archangel Michael and that's all you do and then you focus back on on what you're doing because when you like and if you you were saying something about you even get woken up in the middle of the night by it some of this stuff can come through in dream states so what you can do before you go to sleep tonight is just say archangel michael is going to handle all the weird glass knocks and i got nothing to do with that that has nothing to do with me anymore 
and then you go to sleep and you just let go of all attachments to that. All that stuff will eventually clear entirely out because it doesn't get your attention anymore. Energy can be like a bully too. So if it's getting under your skin, it grows and becomes even worse, okay? But if you're like, no big deal, you can shrug a bully off. It'll shrink down and disappear. So this, these energy knocks, if they're really getting your attention, they're creating an energetic reaction to it, you need to stop reacting to it. It's just a bully that's feeding off of your reactions, okay? So that energy, whether that energy is just simply energy, whether the energy is coming from within you, whether the energy is actually a consciousness or a ghost or a demon or whatever, same thing applies. You just just don't even put, give it any time of day or energy. And it will shrink down and disappear and go away. And you will find yourself feeling more purified. You need to start... You need to start exploring what you are and who you are and what you are capable of. You're putting something about your your life learning. It seems as though you're kind of um, there's something so much more exciting about love. So much something more exciting. You should visualize yourself as being like a, a sorcerer. And then you have like an awesome staff, but you're the sorcerer of love. And that love is, you know, shared with lightning bolts and the lightning bolts transform people's hearts instantly. And you're creating a world of love. And when you go into visualizations like this, you bring that part of yourself to the surface. And that part of yourself naturally clears away all this other congestion. So again, shifting your, your thought processes and feelings and relationship with uh, with love is going to manhandle this no problem because love transforms everything okay so thank you for this experience <laughs> thank you for sharing so much um really interesting really uh fun lively session okay for those of you watching if any of you are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one, for a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, I hope you all have a great day.